that ultimately it's easy to create narratives about who is good versus bad. When I was in Ukraine, it was very easy to say Russia bad and then the Ukrainians good. Now it's true. Now the problem comes in when it goes to another region where you have uh, Palestinians, for example. And so the way that they're covered is that they're the only people who are allowed to give us voice into what's going on. But just like black people here in the United States, often our expertise are not really is not really acknowledged. Our voices are not acknowledged until white people confirm that it's true or not. And so. The difference there is that we've had decades upon decades of Israeli propaganda that makes us forget about the fact that the creation of Israel came at the expense of 700,000 Palestinians. And the challenge with that is, as journalists, the, 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 the courage that we need in order to um, bring, bring humanity to these people. Because what often happens is that they either, with, with Palestinians, they either deserve it or they had it coming. And